Frigid storm leaving Flagstaff in a snowy blanket. Woke up to find out that everything snowed in and the highways closed. David Finelli, one of the many people visiting the area, now worried they may have to stay longer than intended as the winter storms continue to have an icy grip in the Arizona high country. A couple of us have to work tonight, so we'll see how that opens up. Some choosing to extend their stays at hotels in order to stay warm. It's too cold for us. But it's not just the sheer amount of snow that the mountain area saw. It's also these gusty winds, and they're causing conditions that's making it difficult to see when you're driving. Visibility is probably the biggest issue. This video you're seeing is of near whiteout conditions we experienced Wednesday. You can barely see these people walking just a block away from our camera, and some cars just ever so slightly visible. It's these conditions that have Finelli concerned the most. Staying warm, we've all got jackets and stuff from snowboarding yesterday. But yeah, the visibility will definitely be an issue. We saw several people trying to clear their cars of snow and ice only to later learn the highway they needed to take was shut down due to the storm. It's really cold, it's really windy. My husband is trying to get the car like 30 minutes and that's impossible. <laughs> Crews also having their hands full shoveling and clearing snow only for the roads to get covered again in a matter of minutes. ADOT preparing for what could be a long week. We're going to be busy all week, but we do have our uh, 200 snow plows. We have up to 400 ADOT employees who are trained to uh, drive the snow plows out there. Uh, but we need uh, drivers to seriously consider not traveling into these conditions. Yeah, and this storm has also caused a numerous number of power outages. I just checked the APS map. There's been a handful in the Flagstaff area, but there's more than 2,000 uh, places without power near Munns Park, so we're definitely going to keep our eyes on that. Now, th again, there is that break in this storm, so I'm going to go ahead and knock on wood that it stays this way for the next couple hours while I'm out here because uh, I've had enough of the snow pelting me uh, all afternoon.